So ideally, they should be uh, they should be joined together like this. I just slightly crossed over like this. This is uh, just about acceptable. Um, this, on the other hand, uh, is a pair of scissors where the uh, uh, the person me has tried to cut through some of the something that was far too thick, uh, and the uh, you can see the tips there are completely separated. Uh, we're going to have a look at how to deal with those in a bit. All in all, these uh, the, these scissors are in pretty good shape. They just need a clean uh, and the blade sharpening up a bit. Uh, so we're just going to clean the outside of the tool first, as it were, like the uh, the, the arms uh, and the outside face. Uh, so just with my brush, steel brush, I'm just going to go over very very quickly, clean off any dirt. And, uh, And then once again with the rubber, get in and do. It is very important to just to, to be careful with this. I mean, obviously the, the tools that we're working on are sharp, so um, be very careful of the, of the points there. Um, so keep your hands away from any of the uh, any dangerous edges and things like that. So there, just clean it on one side. Right there. So that's the outsides. Cleaned off, nice and shiny. Okay, let's clean the insides of the blades. Just clean up all the dirt. Now, the longer this dirt stays on there, the more it corrodes the uh, the metal. So, the lot, if you've got dirty scissors and you leave it for a month, it starts eating away uh, and rusting, uh, eating away at the metal, and you end up with very, very blunt scissors. It's very important to try and get all of this just just uh, just mud and uh, dirt picked up from daily use. Get it off the scissors as quickly as possible. So that's just the cleaning job. That should this should really be done after every use. Okay, so there we go. There's nothing trapped in there. That sounds okay. Right. So now what we're going to do. Is see these blades here? I can put my I can press down on there very easily. And I'm not cutting my my fingers at all. Okay, and that's not really good for a pair of scissors. You want that to be able to cut through paper uh, just by putting the sort of running the paper along it. That's the ideal edge for a pair of decent pair of scissors. So we can see here that our scissors, uh, or my scissors, are not good enough. So what I'm going to do is using my uh, my files. I'm going to put a nice sharp edge on my scissors. Now the edge that we need to sharpen is this edge here. The inside of the blade you don't need to touch at all apart from once just to take any burrs off, any nicks or, or burrs. What, we, what we're doing is we're sharpening the beveled edge. Okay. Now it's very important to get the correct angle. We don't want to go flat if you just rub flat on there, all you're going to end up doing is just wearing the blade down and down and down and down and down. What you need to do is to find the correct angle so that it is very close to the bevel, to the beveled edge, and so that we're, uh, we're sharpening off so that it comes to a point. So what I'm going to do, I've got three different grades, this is the roughest, uh, this is the second roughest, and this is the finest. So because these blades are, are fairly uh, are fairly okay, I don't need to go right down to the, to the roughest grade, uh, I'm just going to start in the middle, so what I'll do is I'll just oil up my, uh, my file, Ooh. and also oil up the blade. Okay. Um, hold, hold it so that it won't move, so it's nice and secure there, hands resting on the table. Okay. I'll get to a position where I can see the angle between the, the, the file and the blade, open it up so I've got a bit of space, okay. you see like that, and then just putting a lot of pressure on, I, I'm not doing it very quickly, you don't need to go up and down, up and down, it's only one motion motion away from you. It's doing the, 
doing the sharpening. So with a lot of pressure and getting the correct angle, so I'm checking to see that I've got the correct angle so I'm quite close to the bevel. It's about 45 degrees, 35 to 40 degrees and just moving up down and along the blade. And you should be able to notice that it's beginning to sort of change colour as it gets sharpened off. Another thing to, to look out for as well is to see if there are any nicks along along the, the cutting blade. So it's an often good idea just to give it a wipe so you take off any of the uh, <coughs> any of the filings. Okay. I've got a tiny little nick right at the tip. So we need to make sure that the cutting blade is that's taken out. People will put the put it in a fire in a vice. Just find out whatever works for you. Okay. Now just put my finger on there. That's beginning. I, I can feel there's a, a very big difference already. I don't want to start rubbing my finger too too hard against that. Tips needs a bit more work. Just take that nick out. Okay. So I know I've done that with the uh, the medium grade uh, file. What I'll do now is I'll just go off and finish with the finest. So I'm not taking a lot of metal off with this one, we're just truing the edge. Okay, very careful look. Okay, there's no nicks on that, no problem. And then what we'll do is just turn it over once, and on the back of the blade, just with that finest one, just very gently once along there and that just takes away any of the uh, <coughs> any of the filings or any of the, uh, the little nicks things that may may have uh, gone to that side and just wipe it off on both sides and have a look at the blade okay that looks fairly, fairly nice and sharp so I've done the same on the other blade uh, so now both blades are very very sharp, test that with my finger, um, but the ultimate test is to see how cleanly uh, it cuts through a piece of paper, that's uh, so a piece of paper there, and you can see that rather than crushing through the piece of paper, it cuts through very nicely, a very nice cut edge there, so these are fine. Um, again visual inspection is the best thing, so uh, always keep an eye on, on, on the blades and how they're looking.